Hi, Tyson from ForeFlight here. At Sun and Fun this week, we're showing a major new version of ForeFlight Mobile 6 with four really big new features. One is a new terrain system, the ability to show split screen attitude from the Stratus, some major improvements to the flight plan filing system in ForeFlight, and some new airport diagrams that we've started creating. Let's take a look. The new terrain features in ForeFlight show you the terrain and obstacles along your path of flight, or you can use the ruler mode to see terrain and obstacles that way as well. You can take a look at the maximum elevation figure in an area, the highest obstacle, and what we call the time to first strike, which is the point at which you might impact terrain. We've also greatly improved the flight plan filing capabilities in ForeFlight, including the ability to amend flight plans, to activate and close VFR flight plans, and the ability to cancel a flight plan that's not been previously activated or opened. One of the other enhancements made to ForeFlight is the addition of a split screen attitude indicator. So we now have uh, indication of attitude inside of ForeFlight, tapes for airspeed and for, for airspeed, for ground speed and uh, altitude, and a new calibration mechanism so that you can change the pitch, bank, uh, and calibration of the Stratus 2 all from within the app. What we're also excited to announce is the, the availability of ForeFlight airport diagrams. The FAA only provides diagrams for about 750 airports, and ForeFlight is adding 500 additional airport diagrams to cover some of the smaller airports with airport and taxi information. And finally, we've uh, improved the user interface of ForeFlight 6. We've optimized it for iOS 7, so we get the best of uh, what iOS 7 has to offer without some of its downsides. Come to Hangar C. We'd love to show you 4Flight 6, the new Stratus enhancements, and you can see more on the web at 4Flight.com.